Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at permeability and porosity. Up first is permeability, and that's the ability of liquids and gases to flow through rock. And what I'm going to do for the demo, I have three different types of materials. I have just gravel, and then I have gravel and sand, and this might be material that uh, would make up an aquifer, which as you know stores lots of underground groundwater. And then last but not least we have sand. And what we're going to do is we are going to pour uh, roughly 100 milliliters liquid into this and we can see how quickly the water passes through it. So I'm going to start from the slowest and go to I think the what I think will be the highest. So I'm going to start with sand and then I'm going to quickly pour in the gravel and sand combination and then I'm going to pour in the gravel and you'll be able to see that quickly that the gravel has velocity because look at the rate in which it flows into it and then the looks like the gravel and sand has the next highest permeability and then just the sand has the lowest permeability but it's pretty close between the gravel and the sand again the permeability is just the rate at which a gas or fluid or liquid can flow through rock so by far Highest permeability, medium, lowest. Take a look at the porosity. I have the same material. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour liquid into them and see how much I can uh, pour in before it's completely saturated. Uh, porosity is a measure basically of how many empty spaces, the amount of empty spaces you have. And you can see in the gravel that there's much more empty space than in the sand. And you can calculate porosity uh, by taking the amount of liquid you can pour in divided by the um, amount of original material you have. So let's pour in the liquid here and let's pour it until it is completely saturated. And it looks like I poured in really 100 milliliters. Now I'm going to get the sand and really it's almost already saturated, soaking down a little bit. And it looks like I was able to pour in about 10 milliliters and then the sand and gravel. I was able to pour in, oh, it looks like about 30. So if you do the calculations, then the gravel will have the highest porosity then the sand will have uh, a little bit the lowest porosity and this will be somewhere in between. Again, it's just a measure of the amount of space in between the rocks and the material. I hope that helps with permeability and porosity. Thanks for watching and Moving Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.